Welcome back with us, folks. A little bit of brain picking tonight on why I decided to go with Dal, Delta Airlines, after earnings this morning. Now, you know that this morning Delta reported um, better than expected EPS, which was negative, but still, and revenues were much better than expected as well. So this is the chart from yesterday. Please apologize for the one minute but we were scalping it um, early uh, in the day and you'll see why it's on one minute. So this was yesterday before earnings. So you see that it was a slow bleed until the end of day where there was a big drop just at the bell down to 41.03. And straight after that, it started rising I mean, they reported this morning, but if they were that bearish, people would keep on selling, in my opinion. So what happened after they reported is this. We had a little bit of a climb and people were kind of impressed because they were expected, expecting more of a drop in lesser sales and worse DPS. And it was better than expected. Now, what the way I see it is this if people were so bearish on it, we would have dropped below yesterday's low. We did not. And see what happens at the open. Now, this is the one minute, and that dark green line is the um, 200 EMA. Oddly enough, it gets a stop right on the 200 EMA and then it starts coming down right so we expect people taking profit then it rises and it still gets rejected I mean we are pretty close to a straight line even if you know we're I believe a little lower going down but see this as resistance now if straight up let's say we open we go like this and straight up we see a candle and then the next candle up we know we're going to start to get bullish we did not so basically we're waiting to see where we're going to find support we know the previous day was 4103 and we did not get there and right away we started picking up higher than this low so if we had been bearish we would have seen something like this not hitting the lower at least not that much and then starting to fall down below our line we were a little above here and this is where i alerted the 42 um the 42 calls for uh this week now it turned down where same spot same as this which is a little higher than that 4103, I believe it was 4105 pennies away, yet we are a little higher than the previous day. And we're moving up. I mean, this is after earnings. This is after people saw earnings that weren't that great. Um, SPY at, the, at that time was going that way. So basically we are going with the momentum of the day um, on a double bottom. So basically this would have been the stop line because we would get into bearish territories, which is lower than the previous day, lower than before earnings where people were selling up until that point. And now that earnings have gone, people are no longer selling um, because we're a little higher than that point. If we had been lower, I believe we would have flushed. Uh, the idea was to see how we could bounce on that double bottom. So we alerted here. I thought we could climb right away with SPY. We did not. We tested that line again, and now it was a straight up here. Um, why my target was in the this area? Um, you see rejection, 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 rejection. What's going to happen when it gets there? It was on high volume. I guess it poked through. We were lucky enough to get 
um, 100% on that play as we reached in the money and then some. Um, however, this was the initial target as we were not going through bullish. Uh, we would do this, it would have carried on, but not. It started going down for um, a retest of that line. But the idea was to sell on target for a very short duration, which is you know, only a few minutes because this is the one minute chart we're looking at here. So the idea you have to look at your target. If you want to sell on a specific target that you you decide ahead of time, I suggest you go see a video that I have done. I think it was last December and it's called conditional orders that you can set on thinkorswim where you actually set a line let's say you want to sell your calls at a specific line i believe this was 41.89 you can set say sell my call position at 41.89 so this avoids greed specifically if you are on a scalp um so remember for this the idea was to look at Previous day low, which was 41.03. We never went below that low. We bounced on it here, very close to it. And the idea is to go for a reclaim of that resistance that we had pre-market and after the bell. You've heard that one before telling me, telling you that, you know, we start from the bottom and resistance of pre-market this is exactly what we did here and i'm showing it i'm showing it to you again so the more you see this happen the more you'll see that it's feasible to have a bottom that you decide from the previous day or a very specific resistance point a support and target is your resistance at pre-market and in this particular case pre-market pre-market after the bell after the bell that's uh, that's where we uh, we actually sold i hope this makes sense i hope you can learn a little bit from this and i'll see you again soon folks